In this video, we're going to look at setting up a topo surface for a house complete with a footpath. So to draw our topo surface, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we're in our site view. So double click on that and come up to our massing and site tab on the ribbon and click on topo surface to create a topo surface. Now you notice down here it's asking us to click to add a point to the surface. Before we start adding points, we want to set a few heights. Now I want a hill at the back of my house, so I'm going to go ahead and type in 3500. So my point is going to be 3.5 meters above zero. Now I'm going to click this all the way back up here on the top left, and I'm going to add one to the top right. Next, I'm going to add my front elevation. So my hill on the front, I want it to be lower than the front of the house, so I'm going to type in negative 1500 and go ahead and left click on the front of the house. And now we have a basic topography in place. So if I go ahead and click tick, finish surface, go to my 3D view, you can see there that I have a hill that goes all the way through my house. Now in this particular scenario, I don't want a hill in my house, I want it to be flat around it. So I'm going to double click on site again, I'm going to click on my topo surface, and up here I'm going to click edit surface. I've got an option here to place point to add some more points. In my elevations, remember my last option, I want to change that to zero, press enter, and then I'm going to around my house tell it that I want those points there to be zero so between this line here and this point and this point my land should be completely flat so I go ahead and press that tick go back to my 3D view and we can see now that my house is sitting on some flat land sometimes when we do these topo surfaces it can be hard to see exactly what's going on with that slope so while we're in our 3D view, we can come along over here to our properties box and in the section box click that check mark and we'll be able to see a section box. If we click on that section box, you'll get these little arrows there that will let us control that. In this case I'm going to hit the top of my view cube and now I can come along and drag that into my topo surface. If I click on the corner of my view cube to go back to that 3D view, I can see now what my topo surface looks like and get a better idea of how that slope is going. The other thing we might want to do if we go back to our site view is we might want to make this a little bit more square. To do that we can come along to this option here, split surface which is in our massing and site ribbon and split the surface. So if I click on that, nothing happens. It's asking me down the bottom here to select a surface to split. I want to split my topo surface. In this draw box, I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to come along and draw a rectangle around my house. Click the green check to finish edit mode. And now I have two separate parts to my topo surface. If I click this outside, I can come along and press delete and now I've got a perfectly square topo surface. The other thing I might want to do is I might want to come along and add some driveways, some roads or footpaths. In this case we're going to add ourselves a footpath. To do that we want to choose the sub-region. So if we click on that and come along to my edge here anywhere I'm going to draw that all the way across and come down 1200, all the way back across on the left, and join that box up. Press escape, hit that green check button, and now my topo surface is in two sections. We can turn this section box off, we don't need that any longer. You'll notice that when I split that surface, it's changed my points a little bit. And now my topo surface is still on a slope here. 
and we can go back into our site view, click on our topo surface, edit topo surface, and start adding in some more points to correct that. So it's remember my elevation at zero. I'm going to come along here, add those in, press the check mark, go back into my 3D view, and that has fixed my topo surface up. So if at any point it moves, and it changes just because of something you've added, all you need to do is go back in, add some more points at that correct height that you need it, and it should fix itself up. Next thing we want to do now, topo surface, is add in some materials. So you notice that if I'm in my visual style realistic, I can see the bricks on my building, but my topo surface is grey. I want that to show up as green or have a grass texture on it. To do that I want to click my surface up here in the properties box in the material area. I'm going to click in that box and click the three little dotted grey square. What that will do is bring up the material browser where we can select from any number of pre-selected materials. Sometimes we want to find something like grass and we'll find that it isn't already in our library. So we're going to go ahead and come down here and click on this sphere and create new material. It'll add a default new material for us and we've got a couple of tabs up here. Now before we go renaming, we want to select the material we want to get its name. So I'm going to go to Appearance, and you'll notice here it says Generic 6. And it's very important to remember to click on this button over here to replace this asset. If we come along down here and add an image or an added texture to this Generic 6, every time we create a new material, it's going to look like we've created here. And if we go and change that on another material, it's going to make that the same. So we want this one to be unique. So go ahead and click on replace this asset and that will bring up this asset browser. Now this has a whole heap of hidden materials that we couldn't get to before. If we click on the appearance library for example, look on the left, come down to site work, we have a whole list of different things that we can use for our site including a whole bunch of different grasses. The other option here is to, in the search bin, type in grass, and we'll just get a list of grasses that are available to us. In this case, I'm going to select grass, bluegrass. So I'm going to hit the little arrows over here to replace the current asset with this one, and close that window. And you'll notice now that it's given me a preview up here, and there's my texture there. So if I come along to identity now, to this name field and I'm going to type in grass, blue grass. The other thing I want to do is come into this graphics option. Now you notice here I have shading. What this color is here, if I click OK, it's not going to update this to show my grass. It's going to use this color appearance here. So I can either click on that, choose a color that I want to represent it, or I can choose use render appearance and it will use that color from that texture. I can go ahead now and hit OK, deselect that topo surface and it is now green. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a material to my footpath. So I'm going to click on that, come into my material, again click on those three dots and this time I'm going to make sure I don't have some options already to me. I want concrete start typing that in and I have five options here that match the concrete. So this one here, concrete custom place, let's go physical. It looks like something I might want to use. I'm going to go ahead and press OK and I now have my concrete footpath. So that completes this video on setting up a topo surface. In the next video we're going to add our additional walls to our house and add some floors.